Hello, I'm Gordon Richard with Cole Morgan, and this is Two Minutes of Motion. On vertical applications and some horizontal axes, it is important to add a fail-safe brake for holding position. This will prevent the load from dropping or moving if there is a fault or a loss of power. Most conventional rotary motors have the option of a fail-safe brake, such as the AKM series size 2 and larger. If the motor is a plug-and-play, the brake option will be set up automatically in the drive. For non-plug-and-play feedback devices and brakes added to the system externally, the brake will need to be set up manually. In the brake screen, change the setting from 0 no brake to 1 brake fitted. Brake behavior allows for two different settings. 0 apply brake when motor has stopped is used for all fail-safe brakes which are designed to hold position but not stop the load. 1. Apply brake immediately is only used for true dynamic brake systems designed to actually stop the load. These act like the disc brakes on your car and are specially designed for repeatedly stopping the load. In our example we are setting up an AKM 24 volt fail-safe brake. Brake state is set to zero. Apply brake when motor has stopped. Brake release delay can be adjusted to ensure the brake does not release before the motor has taken control of the load. Brake apply delay can also be adjusted to ensure the brake has control of the load before the motor is disabled. At this point the brake will be engaged and disengaged depending on the status of the drive. Keep in mind that an I.O. input can be set up to release the brake and allow the load to be moved when the drive has been disabled. The common faults can occur during brake setup is 305, brake open circuit. This can occur because the motor power cable is not connected, the motor power cable is incorrect for the motor with a brake, or the motor has no brake connected to it. First check that the motor has a brake then troubleshoot back to the drive. I hope you check out future segments. I'm Gordon Ritchie for Two Minutes of Motion.